Mickey, you must be delighted to get back playing football again. You had your feet up for 10 days or so. Well, we've been in training, but yeah, it, it, football's all about playing games, and it? You, you want to work towards something and then work from something. And when you've no go at that, you're, you're kind of champing at a bit to try to get going. So, yeah, it'll be good to get games going again. I know you love stats, Mickey. <laughs> dear, dear. Yeah, you love them. You love them. <laughs> no, you do. Uh, well, <laughs> positive stat is only one defeat in seven. Negative stat is only one win in seven. What way do you look at it? Where, where, where are we in the league? That's what I would look at, Brian. And that's the truth. The, the two stats I would look at would be during the game, that top left-hand corner, how long to go and what the score is, and then what the outcome is of the two stats, because it'll be measured by a league table. Of course, we try and look at things and and see if I can find some some things that I can work on or through stats am I getting the ball in the box enough can I get it in more and then you, you dig deeper into the detail of that of course I do but the important thing for me absolutely at Dundee United is to keep trying to get results and move things forward I, I've never ever said any different that I come up with a championship group was uh, brought in with them to try and help them to become Scottish Premiership players because there wasn't enough a lot of them that had and that's what we'll continue to work on and keep trying to get better. And we are, we'll keep trying every day to try and keep their standards high, work on the things that, that the Scottish Premiership will ask them. Um, so we'll try and improve on all the equalities. Got a group of young lads, big group of young lads that also need our help to nurture them and move them forward. We'll look at all the stats of that, Brian. Yes, you're right. Running stats and all the rest of it. But... Ultimately, as a club, I think the measurement is where we are in the league as well. So we'll look at that as well and we'll just keep trying to move it forward. And, and the, main, the main thing is, is yeah, we want to keep improving. We do, but sometimes I, I hear people saying, I want to improve, I want to improve. No, we, you have to want to improve. You have to know how to improve. And, and that's what we're trying to do. And we know we, we want to improve. In terms of your six months or so has been at the club now, Mickey, um, there's a financial implications around every club at the moment. Are your hands tied a little bit by by what you want to achieve in terms of bringing the quality of players to, to United that, that you want to because of the, the lack of finances? No, I think I think if everybody had the, had the money to bring their dream team, Brian, I think we'd all be in a different world, wouldn't we? We'd all be getting spoke about differently. There's some clubs in this league who can go and do that. We have a certain way of working where we have to nurture young players to become better. We, that's the job at Dundee United. Every, every job's different. Every opportunity for the manager to, to make the team better is different. At Dundee United, it's not. I can't and, and probably never will be able to go and compete at the top end of, of recruitment in terms of financially. You don't come to Dundee United and expect that. What you come to Dundee United to, to do and is to nurture some young players, make them better. I've got a group of players here who are all determined to get better. And it's not me romantically speaking, this is the facts. They all want to get better and become really good Scottish Premiership players. And that's the challenge of the manager of Dundee United. Then can he go out um, and, and, and as we go along, pick up players in, in his recruitment pool to add to that? And that's what we'll continue to do. And that's the job at Dundee United. And that's the truth. I'm not trying to move away from any uh, question that you're asking me. The, the facts are that's the job at Dundee United. The owner, Mark Ogren, has said he doesn't have a bottomless pit of money to put into the club, but he's now asked um, the Dundee United fans for another 100,000 or so. Um, are you concerned in any way about United being able to continue. Now, one thing I have to say, Mickey, that at no point have United actually made anybody redundant yet. You've taken a wage cut, the players have taken wage cuts, whereas a lot of clubs have actually made people redundant. United haven't done that yet. Is that the next step, do you think, to try and save a little bit of cash? I think you would have to ask the owner that, Brian. I think ultimately it'll be up to him. You're asking me, because I can only give my opinion and tell you what I've been told or not told. I've never been told anything differently. Mickey, just keep working. 
keep trying to make the players better. That's what you've been brought here to do. Keep trying to get results. Keep trying to improve results. Keep trying to improve my players. Keep trying to improve the playing side of the football club. All the other stuff would be questions, honestly. You would need to ask the owner and, and, and Tony Asker. But never has have, have ever I um, been told any different. So I keep going. I keep trying to uh, do what we're doing and keep trying to, like I say, keep trying to move the, the, the football club forward. Do you have funds available to bring anybody in or do you have to sell players in this window? I would be honest and say I haven't gone and asked because, like I said, at the start of the season, and that's how my mum always says, Michael, to be a liar, you'd have to have a good memory. So I said at the start of the season, I had a group of players that was trying to make better and give time to grow. So development is all about time. So you've got to give that time. Like my mum said just that you need to give soup time, son. You can't go eating it too quickly. So I'm trying to give the soup a bit of time and give it time to get better and better. I'm just got a group of young ones that need time to grow. I'm strong with them. I know how to make them better. They know that I'm on their case. They can rely on me. They can trust me that I won't give them an inch. I expect good standards and good ambition every day. And that's what we're attacking. So I haven't gone to the owners or Tony and said actively, I want this because I, I believe in every position. I've got pathways to look after. Because we've got a, a real strong club in, in terms of our academy. Now, if you want an academy to work, you've got to go and look for opportunities to bring them through. Now, if I keep blocking the path of that, then what would be the point of an academy? Of course, Dundee United's got to keep winning games, Brian. We all know that because it's a demanding fan base, mm -hmm. which I don't mind. I'm no problem with that. Um, but I'll keep the reins strong and, and know what the process is of trying to make the club better. And that'll be through the academy on making the ones that have got better. Or if such a time somebody springs up and I go, do you know what? I'll go to the powers at B and I'll go, that's, that fits. That's a good opportunity for the football club to, to bring that in. Is it doable? Then I would pursue that, but I've never really mm. gone to anybody and, and, and did that. Can you understand the optics, though, that, and how it looks when an owner of a club is coming out and saying to the fans, look, we need your help, we need your money? And that it doesn't look good. And, the, and he says, look, I don't have a bottomless pit of money to keep on shelling, whether it be hundreds of thousands of pounds per month, into, into a business. I think every, every club would be the same. Yeah. I, I, I really don't think there'll be a club in Scotland that's the same. That, uh, sorry, that, that isn't thinking that way. I think I'm only giving you my opinion. I haven't gone and, and asked the owner. So it's only my opinion, but I would imagine that no fans is making every club struggle at the minute. Every club is now really feeling the, the the full force of this pandemic financially. Um, I don't think any be any different. And I think if you went to every owner of every club, they'd say the same. Um, we're having to find fan money here. We're having to find secondary spend money here because nobody's coming to the games. And what we've got to try and do is, is do the best we can until we can get the fans back in and we can financially maybe grow that forward again. But, but nobody said to you, you need to sell... Nobody said... Oh, yeah. No, no. And, and I'm not expecting to have to, to do that either. I've not been asked the question on that either. So it's as we as you do in football, you yeah, you have a, a, an eye on the future, but you have to deal with today. And today, I'm telling you that there's absolutely nobody leaving uh, today. Brilliant. Mickey, have you had any bids in for your players? No. Yeah. Are you expecting any? Have you heard any whispers no. about anything? No, I really haven't. I've had no phone calls, which I'm careful to say, you know, because if I was a player sitting there, I would think, why does nobody want me? <laughs> want me, want me, want me. Now, we've got players here who are working really hard with, and they know that I care about them and I will work with them every day. I work with them again today and we will graft and I will get the best out of them and I'll try and make them the best version of themselves. I'm enjoying doing that. I'm very focused on that. I'll continue to do that to, to, to move it forward because I want to move to this way of playing um, that's in my head and I'm working towards that and I'm enjoying the process of that. Um, but everybody, I think, believes and understands when I say that I'm still working towards that and I, and I'm, and I will continue to try and do that. Given the circumstances you spoke 
there about, you know, we're in COVID and what have you. Is this the quietest transfer window you've ever experienced? And is, is it understandable if it, if it would be? I think so. I think if, you, if, if any sat down before the window opened, I think we would have said it's going to be difficult. I mean, when you start to really think about, dig into detail of it, if I move an English boy up to Scotland, he's got to go and live in a hotel on his own. Can't get his family to come up. We'd have to live in the hotel, nobody else in the hotel. I don't know how appetising that would be for anybody to want to do that for the amount of time that this is going to take. So there's one hub, there's one big hurdle. Then there's a the financial side of it and all you've got to factor in. Um, so there's a whole load of things that you've got to think about. But I did expect it would be difficult for anybody to move, want to move areas and have to live under these circumstances. I thought that would have an impact, yeah. Turning to the game on Wednesday. Oh, it's right, we've got a game. Got a game, yeah. <laughs> Brian, we're playing games again. We're playing games again. <laughs> I mean, how do you expect St. Mirren to be feeling after such a, a blow at the weekend? I'm sure they'll be they'll be massively disappointed, but I'm sure that, that you'll hear the manager saying they have to move on. I'm sure about that, but that's not my concern. I can't control that. I've got a group here that I have to work hard with. I've got a group here who know how we want to play and know how, how much we want to improve at the way we're playing. So we'll concentrate on that. We'll, get the, the, we'll try and get them to make sure that they do the necessary running at the right intensity, turn up with the right attitude. So we've got enough to think about to try and achieve before we start thinking or worrying about anybody else. We know we've got to be the best version of ourselves because we are very demanding on ourselves. Back to stats again. I think you've got the most draws in the, the Premiership. How, how frustrating is that for you? How do you how do you feel about that? I think when you look and you think, well, we're results-wise, I think we're two less results in Aberdeen. I think two less less results. If you add, if you call draws and wins results, I think for a team just coming up to be able to say that you would you you wouldn't be satisfied, but you'd say, well, you know what, we're moving in the right direction. I would absolutely say I would love to have turned the results and the draws into victories. And I'd absolutely say I wouldn't like to turn the draws into losses. So we want to keep moving it forward. We really do. We're getting results and we want to try and win the draws. But I've never, ever set a team up to draw. Never. I've never set them up to play defensively. Never. You can, you, you can. I, I wouldn't mind if you plucked one of my players out now and said, "Has the manager ever said play defensively?" No, he wants to go and try and attack. But there's two sides to the game that you have to be good at. So we will keep attacking that. We'll keep trying to show the improvements of of what you need today to be a, a, a real attacking force and turn the draws into victories. But I'm on with that, and I'm trying to keep working on that. I've made the players aware of what we need to be good at in order to try and do that. And that's what we're working towards. We're very clear in, in what I'm asking the players, what their jobs are. They're very clear in what they need to get better at. So we'll keep working and working and working at that. But I've got to be fair to my players and to say that we are two results less than some of the teams that have been in this league and much, much more experienced than us. If we can just turn some of the draws into victories without putting pressure on ourselves, but I'd far better be thinking about turning the draws into defeats. I don't want to do that, start doing that. I want to keep getting results every week and keep moving it forward uh, every week. Last one from me then. What's your squad looking like at, uh, for the game? Ins and outs? Um, we're okay. We're, we're, like Butcher is, is now looking more likely to be involved um, than what he would have been at the weekend. Um, obviously, the, the, with the no, no games, uh, we, we're able to try and get people like Logan Chalmers moving forward, which we are now. He's now coming in non-contact into the group. So we're moving more towards having a, a full squad available. Thank you. Mickey, uh, I hate to take you back away from the away from the football just for a moment. but um, You're going to. <laughs> <laughs> but briefly, if I can. Um, Tony Ashker, he was, he was on Club TV um, a couple of days ago and he was saying that Financially, at one point, they thought it might be the best option to just end the season. As the manager sitting there looking at those comments, how, how does that make you feel? Would you be inclined to agree with them? 
No, because I'm still here, so that hasn't happened. I just tend, I mean, everybody has their own way of doing things, and I always just tend to try and stick to how I deal with things until I'm told any differently. I just get on me every day as best as I can, and that's what I'll do. I'll have to have one eye in the future, but I have seen the threat towards me continuing to keep working like that that I would be worried about tomorrow. So I continue to just keep doing that. The whole of Scottish football, the whole of world football is struggling at the minute, there's no doubt about that. But we're still playing, so we continue to keep trying to trying to do that and keep doing the asks of keep trying to improve at that. Yeah. Uh, just my last question about the kind of financial side. Um, he, he also spoke about the kind of the disparity between the, the championship receiving half a million pounds worth and grants in the premiership still not receiving any money. Um, how is that affecting the club and, and kind of morale in, in, the, in the dressing room? Well, you, you, you've got an awful lot of questions for Tony Asgard here that I'm answering for him. So, <laughs> no, listen, I just try and get on with the day. I really do. I love, I mean, we, we come on this here and we nearly lost 40 minutes voluntary there when, when, when it's not even 12 o'clock yet. We're saying good afternoon. Just enjoy today and get on with that. And that's what I'll do. I have no threat to tomorrow until somebody comes to me and says that to me. The financial stuff, like I've just said in, in, in earlier questions, I don't know anybody said any different to me. If I believed that there was any need for that, I'm sure that somebody would come and tell me. Nobody's came and told me anything. Um, if they didn't and there was a threat, I would I would think that that was poor play from whoever, but I haven't been, so I'm just saying to you, nobody has. Nobody's came to me. Trying to do the best we can. At the minute, I've got a, 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 a which promises to be an exciting young group moving forward, and that's what I'm focused on trying to do. Just the final one from me, and you'll be pleased to know it is about football. I'm not a that question. <laughs> is it another? <laughs> uh, no, it's about football. You'll be pleased to know. Um, yes. <laughs> the Declan Gallagher, Motherwell. Um, there's been reports that you guys are, are linked to signing him. Is there any truth in that? Well, I've just said again in, in an earlier question, we're not pursuing anything as of at the minute. I would be lying if I didn't say tentatively I didn't have a look around and because and, recruitment is ongoing and you have to be at the front and, and looking and checking and just having a prod around. We've not spoken to anybody. We've not inquired about anybody. We are getting on with what we're doing at the minute. And it would be, like I say, it would be wrong of me to say that we don't take recruitment seriously and we don't have a look around and see what may become available. But as of at the minute, I'm going to work with this group I'm going to continue to try and make them better. I've got some outstanding young players um, in the group at the minute that are determined I'm not going to block the pathway because if the club's been set up as, as a really good academy that we want to feed the first team group. I've got a number that are left the academy or in youth team football but are a wee bit older and just below the first team now. So before I would make any decisions, I'm going to give them time to grow the best way I can. And in the meantime, just keep trying to get Results with Dundee United, which buys the whole process time. Because if I was losing games, you would all be over me like a cheap suit, saying that I'm losing games. So I've just got to keep continuing to try and buy myself time to getting results in order to let this thing blossom. And that's what we will continue to do in the process. I've just told you the whole process of that. So at the minute, no, we are not actively um, pursuing anybody to a place where I could say to you, uh, we're, we're, we're talking to these or we're doing this or doing that no. yeah great no worries thanks no hi, hi Mickey uh, co co just a couple for me um, no game at the weekend of course for United could that work in your favour because the lads will be fresher than St Mirren for Wednesday um, well, it, 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 well if we go there and we go and attack the game and St Mirren turn up Feeling sorry for themselves, yeah, it will, but I don't expect that to happen. No, we've got to be the best version of ourselves all the time. We really do. And that's what we'll concentrate on. I never lose my focus on that. I can't go start worrying about or, or expecting people to turn up here and not be at it. We will expect St. Martin to be at it, and we know that we definitely have to be so. We'll control that, make sure that we do that, and I believe that will give us a good opportunity of getting a result. And you touched on earlier uh, the need to turn the draws 
into victories. Um, do, do you feel that the guys are, as a unit, they're, they're close to clicking and you're close to going on that winning run? I think when we, when we start talking about it, is it 16 results that we've had? So we're, we're, we're clicking. We, are, we know we want to improve. But we're, I keep going back to it because I'm trying to buy my lads' fairness. Well, they haven't played at this level. They haven't played in the Scottish Premier League. So we are moving a group forward from... They haven't played in this level before to getting 16 results. is quite good going, to be fair. So if we're being fair to us, we're moving it forward. We want to move it forward to a place where we're winning every week, if that ever comes. And then we're keeping clean sheets and getting first goals and good at everything. Well, we'll keep aiming for that. We'll keep moving that forward, Dave, you know. But we are progressing um, to what I believe that we will get to now. We, we, we're not there yet. We're, we're working towards that. And as long as I think that I say we're working towards something and I don't believe we are where I want us to be, I think that that should be accepted, I think, um, that that's where I think it all is. And we'll go today again in training and we will work hard towards the team that I, I want to, to see. And even then, as I've said to you before, I might get there and I might be greedy and go, no, I want to go again. I want to make it better and better and better. And that's probably what we'll do. So, no, they are progressing. But you're quite right, you're saying, and, I'm, and I have to state that, yeah, if we could have possibly have turned um, some of the results into victories, um, I'd have been delighted. But we weren't quite good enough to finish off the process uh, and a number of times I put it in the net in order to do that, but nor has a lot of clubs been against us. So we have made it difficult for them to, to turn us over as well, which we want to continue to, 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 to do as well. But yeah, I would love to turn some of the results into anti-victories, but they were hard-fought draws, to be fair, as well. Mm -hmm.